In many electronics and IoT projects, generating a stable 3.3 volt power supply is one of the most common requirements. Most microcontrollers like ESP32, ESP8266, and even a large number of sensors work only on 3.3 volts. But the problem is that most power adapters, USB chargers, and battery packs provide only 5 volt at the output. So we always need a reliable way to convert this 5 volt into a clean and stable 3.3 volts. Uh, to solve this, I designed a compact AMS 1117 based 3.3 volt breakout board from scratch. Uh, I have actually designed two versions of this board. One version comes with a USB Type C connector where you can directly take input from a smartphone charger, and the second version comes with a header pins so you can easily power it using a battery or any external power supply. This board is simple to use and is designed specifically for powering 3.3 volt devices safely and reliably. In this video, I will explain the complete specification of this board, walk you through the schematic design, and show you how you can use it in your own electronics and IoT projects. So let's get into this video. Uh, this is the schematic of AMS 3117 3.3 volt breakout board. Uh, so let me explain this schematic for you. Uh, starting from here, the input power is taken from a USB Type C connector. Uh, from the Type-C port, we use the VBUS line, which provides a 5 volt input. Uh, to ensure proper Type-C operation, a uh, 5.1 kilo ohm pull-down resistors are connected to the CC pins, uh, which tells the charger that this board is a power-consuming device and enables the 5 volt output. Uh, the VBUS line is then passed through a protection diode before reaching the input of the AMS 3117 3.3 volt voltage regulator, uh, which helps to protect the circuit from the reverse current and incorrect connections. A 10 microfarad capacitor is placed at the input side to filter noise and stabilize the input voltage. The AMS 3117 regulator converts this input voltage into a regulator 3.3 volt output, which is available at the output pin. On the output side, another 10 microfarad capacitor is used to maintain stability and reduce voltage fluctuations. An LED with a current limiting register is connected to the output as a power indicator, showing that 3.3 volt supply is active. All ground connections are common, ensuring proper reference and reliable operations of the regulator. And after completing the schematic, I convert it into PCB and after checking every traces and components, I finalize the PCB. And for manufacturing the PCBs, I gave its order to JLC PCB. A JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCB in a very affordable price. And ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Let me show you. Just you need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB. Select the quantity and select the color masking. And after that, click on save to cart to complete your order. And here, if you select the fastest shipping method, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. After 5 days, I got my PCB in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium and PCB looks pretty professional. And this blue color PCB looks very beautiful. And apart from this, JLC PCB also provides PCB assembly services, 3D printing services, and also they started multicolor silk screen PCB manufacturing services as well. So if you have any PCB project, do try out GLC PC for your next project. All the important links are available in the description. Uh, this breakout board is based on the AMS 3117 low dropout voltage regulator and is designed to provide a stable 3.3 volt output for electronics and IoT projects. Uh, it delivers a regulator 3.3 volts suitable for microcontrollers, sensors and other 3.3 volt devices. This board has a compact size of just 10.6 by 39.3 mm, making it easy to use in space constraint designs and quick prototyping. This AMS 3117 supports up to 1 ampere of output current with a typical dropout voltage of around 1.1 to 1.3 volts depending on load conditions. Uh, the onboard capacitors improve voltage stability while built-in current limiting and thermal shutdown protect the regulator from overload and overheating. Uh, this breakout board is ideal for breadboard use, testing and powering 3.3 volt device in real world projects. So here I have two versions of this breakout board, this first one with 
USB type C connector so you can give power supply from any USB type C cable and this second one uh, this one is for your battery power supply or any other external power supply you can give input uh, on this side and you will get output 3.3 volt output at this side so let me uh, show you how you can use in your project one by one so first i am going to show you by this one so just you need to simply put a, a type c connector you can use your um, smartphone charger or anything so just insert it and here as you can see this uh, violet led is start glowing that means this board is working and it is successfully converting 5 volt into 3.3 volt so let me pick my digital multimeter and show you uh, the readings one more thing i have to mention here in the output side i have added three pins one is 3.3 volt ground and the third one is v1 so if you want 5 volt v1 power supply that is input power supply you can use that third pin so this pin is for that So as you can see on the input side we have 5.14 volt that is exactly I think uh, 5 volt uh, let me check on the output side so output voltage is 3.04 which is not exactly 3.3 volt uh, this is because here I have used some extra diode which make it uh, this uh, voltage drop out so if you give power supply more than 5 volt like 6 volt or 7 volt then this will give exactly 3.3 volt here this USB cable is giving only 5.14 volt that's why we are getting only 3.04 volt but this will work with your ESP32 or any other sensor project so this will work as 3.3 volt so no problem at all so here I'm going to use this lithium ion battery for this demonstration so let me connect it here I have connected this breakout board with this lithium ion battery so let's check the output voltage As you can see it is 3.29 which is approx 3.3 volt uh, output voltage so you can easily use 3.3 volt in your project by using this breakout board so this is working super fine so that's it for this AMS 3.17 3 3.3 volt breakout board design uh, if you found this video helpful so don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next one bye bye have a nice day